Okay, so let's look at this uh, question. It says the average number of Girl Scout cookies sold is 65 bucks with a standard deviation of eight. Girls who sell in the top 75% get a special patch. We wanna know how many boxes they must sell um, to get a patch. So because this is um, giving you a percentage and asking you for a score, we wanna remember that our, doo -doo -doo -doo, that our steps will be, so again, I'm giving you a percent, and oops, I'm giving you a percent and asking for a score. Then our steps would be to draw it to um, look something up in the table and then to calculate our X score. So we're gonna do that now and see if we can um, get ourselves squared away. So the first thing we wanna do is draw it. So we'll put this in black. Okay, so when we're drawing this, we wanna make sure we get all of our points clear. So here I have a distribution and I have 65 boxes here. And then I'm gonna break out my calculator. I just try to remind you that you don't need to do this in your head if you don't want to. So then this would be 73. Oops. 73 plus eight is 81. I was hoping this would be nicer handwriting. 57 and 49. Oh, disappointed in the handwriting. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we put in the 34, 14, too, because it's always a good habit. So we know this is 34, this is 14, this is 2, this is 34, 14, 2. Um, and I just wanted to mention, I tend to go slow on these videos, but if you're somebody who likes more rapid information, um, I would say speed up the YouTube video. I always like to watch videos in two times speed. So do whatever works best for you. All right, I'm gonna shade in the area that we're talking about because um, I wanna make sure I've oriented myself. Now, just to give myself a quick idea, it's saying the top 75. So that means I wanna move over 75% and I'm gonna be in here. And so it's gonna look something like that, but I wanna figure out where on this scale is roughly where I'm looking for. And so I want to remind you that from this main line over, is 50%. So if that's 50%, I have to figure out how far over to go to get to a total of 75. So you'll see that I need to only go over 25 point or percentage points over here, which means I'm not gonna go all the way to this line. I'm gonna stay here. So if I shade in this part of the distribution, that makes up a top 75%. So when I think about this, there's kind of two things I can look up. I have this 25%, right? And that would be in the B column of the, my table. And then you have to think about what's left over. So if you have 25% here and the total distribution is 50%, even though it doesn't look to scale, but it's because there's a bigger chunk, this would be 25%. So what we're gonna look at in our table is if we use the C column, we'll look up 25%. If we use the B column, we're going to look up 25%, um, and that will give us the Z-score that we need to use in our calculations. So let's go ahead and um, look at our Z-table. I just have to find that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so I'm looking at my Z table, and again, let's do the C column first. We're looking at 0.25, because it's 25%, so the proportion is 0.2500. So I'm in here, and it looks kind of like this score would be my best bet. 2514 seems the closest to 25%. Um, so I go over here, and I see that that's a Z score of 0.67. Now, if I were looking at the B column of 25%, I would scroll through here and see which score looks the closest. And I would say this one looks the closest to 25. So we're gonna use 0.67 as our Z score. And now I'm gonna see if I can um, show you how that might look on the other table. This is the table that's in the back of your book. And so again, what I'm only able to access here is the B column. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's going to be 
25% instead of a proportion. So I'm going through here and it looks like 0.67 is my good number. So I am going to use that to go back to my whiteboard and see if we can finish this up. So now I know my Z score is 0 0.67. So I want to plug that into my um, formula. And actually, sorry, let's take a moment to think. Is the answer 0 0.67? Maybe you can think about why it may not be. On our z-score, we'll put the z-scores in um, purple. If we had z-scores here, remember this line would be a 0, this line would be a 1, this line would be a 2, this line would be a negative 1, and a negative 2. And so we're finding a score that's supposed to be right about here. So our tables told us 0.67, but it's on us to remember that we were looking at the lower part of the distribution. So the z-score is actually negative 0.67. So that's gonna be important when we're putting that into our calculations. I am gonna use the formula that looks like um, this, where I say x equals mu plus our z-score times the standard deviation. Um, but again, you can also plug it into the z-score formula that we've already been familiar with. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I can use this text function and that looks a little prettier than my messy handwriting. So I will put this in black. So we're gonna be solving for x. So x equals, now I have to look up and see what my mu is. And my mu in this case is 65. Then I'm going to add my z-score. Now remember, my z-score is a negative number, so it's gonna be a negative 0 0.67. So don't leave that negative part out because it would change our answer. Then I'm gonna multiply that times our uh, standard deviation. So let's go ahead and do that. Oops, do that math. And you wanna think about the order of operations. Um, you don't wanna put into your calculator 65 plus minus 0.67 times eight, because what that would do is, um, at, put these together and then multiply that times eight. So you wanna do the order of operations. If you remember that, please excuse me, dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. So the first thing that has to happen here is the multiplication. So I'm gonna put point into my calculator. I'm putting 0.67 times eight, and that number is 5.36. So I now know it's going to be 65 minus 5.36. And then if I um, follow through with that one, that's pretty straightforward there then I'm gonna get 59.64. Now I just wanna point out, if you had forgotten to leave the negative number in there, you would have had 65 plus 5.36, and then that number would have been um, 70.36. I know some of you could probably do that in your head and I'm not. And what's always good is after you get your answer, come up here to your messy handwriting and see if that picture is what you see. So again, the mean is 65, so a 70.36 would have been here, and that's clearly not what we drew. But if we look at a 59.64, that's more in the realm of what we're expecting. So in this particular case, when we look at this, the answer that we're looking for is that the top 75% of Girl Scouts would need to sell 59.64 boxes. So just to highlight that, then our answer would be 59. 0.64 Girl Scout cookie boxes.